what did I pick up on my first two thrift hauls to Goodwill? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body cameras by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a full-time reseller for the summer on Poshmark, hopefully soon to be eBay. Let's say Mercari again, because I did sell something on Mercari yesterday and Amazon FBA. I have a box of stuff that I need to ship out to Amazon FBA. So a lot going on this summer as I go full time. My first week as a full time reseller has been really fun. It hasn't been as heavy with reselling as I would have liked for it to be just because we have a lot going on in our house too. We're doing some remodeling and we're trying to like deep clean our house because we're actually trying to have our own garage sale this coming Saturday and I'm actually gonna do a video about that and just kind of showing you our process of how we're putting it together and hopefully what a success it is and the different things that you can do to make sure that your garage sale is a success if you ever plan to have one in the future. But it's been a really busy week so I haven't been able to do quite as much as I wanted to but in my first week of reselling I did manage to go to Goodwill twice which is what I'm going to haul for you today. I also managed to have a pretty big sale on Poshmark and there's going to be a video about that coming up next week and I also did train my photographer and steamer on just how to do that and it's a process like it I didn't expect her to get it right away but um that's why we call it training right so um I'm in the process of doing that and that's been really great so a lot going on and I guess it has been a pretty successful and productive week it's just in my brain I was like I want to do all of these things and I don't feel like I got quite as much done as I wanted but I'm thrilled with just the amount of time that I'm able to spend on reselling as well as time that I'm able to spend with my family. So let's get into what I got at Goodwill. I went to Goodwill twice in the past week and the first time I went with my husband, the second time I went with my friend who has recently begun reselling and it was her first time going to the thrift store with reselling in mind. So that was really fun. So I'm gonna show you first the stuff that I picked up with my husband. I, this is from so long ago, I don't even remember what all we picked up, so this will be just as much fun for me as hopefully it is for you. Okay, so first up we have, this is a good find. So, oh my gosh, when we went to the Goodwill, we went to this Goodwill that's a little farther away from me, and by farther away I mean like a 15 minute drive, and they had so many dresses that you could not move the dresses on the wrap to see what all was there. So I got really frustrated because I wanted to see everything that was there and I started taking chunks of dresses off and putting them on the rack behind me, which was like sleepwear and there wasn't a lot of stuff on that rack. So I took little sections of dresses off so that I could carefully look through them and I found so many good dresses. And it's mainly because they were so jam packed that no one was taking the time to really look through them. Of course, when I started doing that, other people started coming around and crowding me and they wanted to take advantage of the hard work that I had put in to make space and adequately look through the dresses. So that was a little irritating, especially when they were like giving me the evil eye as if I was doing something wrong and I was in their space. And I was like, no girl, I was here first. But I did find some good dresses. The first one is this David, Meister? Meister? David something. His dresses retail for a pretty penny and this is just this really pretty red dress, just this really bright red with white, I don't know what you call this, like medallion? I don't know, some sort of print. It's really nice and it's just got a really nice little v-neck, um, size six. Next up we just have this, um, I've never heard of this and I honestly didn't buy it to resell. I'll still look it up and if it's worth a lot, I won't keep it, but I bought it for myself. It's Tresix Beach, I don't know what that is. Um, size large, which I wanted it to be oversized and it's just kind of this like longer hoodie dress type thing um, in like this really pale sea foam color. There's the hood. Um, perfect for when my family and I go to San Diego in a little over a month for when we go to the beach. So I'll look it up, but if it's not worth a whole lot, that's okay. Next up is this dress by E Shakti. I'm probably butchering that, but that's okay. And it's this gorgeous, like deep plum color. Um, and it's got the belt with it. And there is the neckline, just really pretty perfect for like weddings or other special occasions and it kind of poofs out in the back um, and it's pleated in the back if you can see that pleated in the front as well 
Um, I have another dress by this brand in my closet right now. And I mean, it's been there for a while. It's not getting a whole lot of attention, but um, I know that that brand can do pretty well. So I was excited to find that. Next up, we have this. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's for Sienna. Um, the tag just looked really intriguing to me. So I thought I would pick it up and look it up later. But it's just this really pretty, huge floral print dress and it is actually new with tags if you can see which is another reason why i got it um and it's ripped so i don't know where it's from it might be like more of a boutique i don't know and it's got this cool neckline so i don't know i thought i'd try it out and it is a size i don't know it's a mystery the size is a mystery but that's okay so yeah pretty dress as you can tell, there were a lot of dresses, like I said. This is Market and Spruce. Market and Spruce is sold in those Stitch Fix subscription boxes. Stitch Fix is a subscription-based clothing, it's a clothing-based subscription box that basically you pay a flat fee for this box to come to your house and you can you know, say how often you want it to come and then you can pick which of those items you want to keep and that flat fee, I think it's like $25 that you pay a month, it goes towards whatever you decide to purchase. Everything in there is really expensive though. I mean, you're definitely paying a premium for these boxes to be delivered to your house so that you don't have to go to the mall and go shopping yourself. I, I personally like to go out and go shopping, so I did try Stitch Fix actually for a few months and it just wasn't for me. Um, most of the stuff didn't fit me very well, but this I thought was really cute. It's got this really pretty scallop neckline and then it's got this opening in the back and the scallop detail is also in the pockets, which dresses with pockets are uh, that's almost a necessity. And that's a size small. But yeah, if you've ever tried out Stitch Fix and if you're a fan, let me know. I'd love to hear about your experience. I've, I kept a couple things, but it just overall wasn't really for me. Another dress. This one I thought was so cool. And this is the brand One State. I believe One State is sold at like Nordstrom and things like that. At first I thought maybe it was on the Thread Up Lux brand, uh, brand list, but it's not. But it's this really cool like metallic spaghetti strap dress. And it's definitely a bigger size. Let me see what the size is, but just a really fun mini dress. Um, it's a size 10, which is great. So that was a cool pickup. Next up, we have this dress from Urban Outfitters, Silence and Noise. I don't always get Urban Outfitters because it's not always worth it. The resale value isn't super high, but I really liked this dress. It has that hook and eye closure in the back and it's like this black lace overlay over this nude color and it has longer sleeves which is kind of nice um i liked kind of the pocket detail in front and how it had like a thicker lace overlay here and then the back just had really cool openings if you can see that and that i believe is an extra small I have a few weddings and stuff to go to this summer. I might try it on and see if I end up wearing it once or twice before I sell it. I don't know, we'll see. Next up, we have another dress and it is Patagonia. And it's really funny because I actually picked up the same exact dress, but just in a different print somewhere else. And I don't even remember where I picked it up at this point. Um, and I don't remember what the style of this dress is called, but it's this V-neck, it's got this big, kind of like empire waistband, um, just a nice simple dress, great to be outdoors in. And I think I said this, but this was a size small. Next, we have another dress and it is new with tags and it is the brand Verte or Vert. <laughs> I don't know, but oh no, it's actually a romper. I just thought this was so cute. It is this gorgeous coral, like peachy coral color. And it's got this eyelet detail all throughout. And it's just really darling. And it is a size medium. The care tag makes it look like it's probably some sort of boutique brand, which is fine by me. New with tags, I was definitely willing to give that a shot. Sorry I keep messing with my tank. I don't like when it hangs too low or if my bra strap is showing, so 
that's why I'm being annoying about that. Um, next up is this Athleta dress. I do like picking up Athleta dresses, even though the last few that I picked up are still just kind of hanging out in my closet. It's a size small and it's pretty simple. It's a gray kind of like t-shirty dress with a v-neck, but it's very heavily ruched on the sides and the bottom, which I think gives a really nice silhouette. I mean, just simple. People like that kind of stuff. People like Athleta. So I definitely picked that up. I believe this is another dress. This is by the brand Leaf, which is sold at Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, and it's just this green dress, pretty simple scoop neck. Hey Liz, my daughter just walked in. And it's got this panel on the bottom, um, size small, and I'm trying to remember if it was made out of anything special. I don't think it was. Yeah, it's just polyester. But this brand actually makes really flattering pieces. So I was excited to find that and pick that up. That is the end of bag one, bag two from my trip with my husband. Oh, I was so excited to find this because I've never found this brand before. And I always heard resellers talking about it on YouTube, but it is the brand Parker. There is the label size medium. Parker is known for their silk pieces. They do a lot of dresses. They do a lot of shirts. Um, and this is just a short mini dress. I'm holding it back. No, this is how it goes. And it's um, just got this really loose and easy feel to it. Fun kind of like snakeskin looking print almost. And it is a size medium. So like I said, I was just really excited to find that. And it has like a drawstring at the waist to help you cinch in the waist. Who doesn't like that? So that was so exciting when I found that. I just felt it and I knew that it was silk and I was like digging to find the tag and when I found it, I like squealed because I'm a loser like that. Also, sorry for my crazy hair. I actually just got back from garage sailing with my daughter and before we even left, she looked at my hair and she was like, did you shower today? And I was like, no, why? And she was like, your hair looks kind of showery. And I was like, oh, you mean like it looks clean? And she's like, no, it just looks wet like you showered. <laughs> And my husband was like, that's grease. So there you have it. That's what's going on today. My husband and I are thinking about going to the gym later, which is why I was like, I'm not going to shower if I'm just going to go to the gym later. So that's what's up. This is another Athleta dress and it is a size four. I don't, sometimes Athleta sizing is kind of wonky. Like this looks a little big to be a four to me, but I don't know. But this is um, a halter dress and it's got this really fun paisley print on it and it's got, I forget what this is called. Um, I'll remember as soon as I'm done filming, but that, it's got a panel of that, which just kind of helps it fit a little bit more nicely. So that's my second athleta piece. Sorry, I just burped. Um, this is, White House Black Market, I do not pick up a lot of White House Black Market. It's a size zero, but again, just really pretty. And sometimes you just have to pick up based on style and not worry so much about the brand. And I mean, White House Black Market does have a following. This is also in my size. It's a size zero. I might wear it before I sell it, we'll see. And it's just this really pretty dress. Like, I have a wedding I have to sing at tomorrow, so maybe I, I don't know, I don't know. You might see pictures of me in one of those dresses and you'll know exactly where they came from. Next up, I got another Garnet Hill piece. Garnet Hill, the tag is just kind of printed right onto the fabric. This is a size 14, which is great. Larger sizes and like plus size dresses or plus size pieces in general have been selling for me so quickly lately and just so well. So just a really simple pink dress, nothing to write home about, short sleeve or kind of more of a cap sleeve really. Um, I picked up Garnet Hill in my last thrift haul or like in the last shoe and they haven't sold yet, but I mean they do get likes and stuff so hopefully they sell soon. Next up is an anthropology piece. Again, I found this in the dress section because the dresses were just so jam packed that when I started moving stuff aside, the good stuff was there. This is, I don't know how to say it, Moulinette Suze. <laughs> I pretend like I know how to speak French. I really don't. 
When you take voice lessons in college as a music education or vocal performance major, you have to learn like the main languages of classical music. So it's like Italian, German, French, and Italian was fine. German was okay. French, I cannot like shape my vowels the way that you're supposed to. But anyway, this is anthropology and it was just this really darling dress. So this is the neckline. I love that little collar right there. Look at that like little bow. And then the bottom is just pleated like all the way down. This is gonna be such a beast and a nightmare to steam, but that's okay. Um, and there's the back, as you can tell, this just needs a good steaming. It zips up the side. And this was a size six, just so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Next up, we just had a swim bottom and this is by Pink by Victoria's Secrets. And I just thought it was really cute. It was um, just kind of this tropical print and I figured it could go with a lot of different tops. Um, it's a size small. Always check the crotch of swimwear because I actually have a couple swim bottoms or swimsuits that I picked up at fill a bag sales and didn't check the crotch and came home and was just like, <laughs> like it was so gross. So check them at the thrift store before you bring them into your home. Um, next up I have this new with tags ASOS, ASOS, who knows, dress. It is so pretty. It is a size eight and they i don't think knew that it was new with tags otherwise they would have stuck it in the boutique section i mean look how cute this is it's a size four. Oh, it's a little too big for me but look look at this dress now it does have a mark on the back and i'm pretty sure it's just from the thrift store so i gotta see if i can get that out and i'm gonna put this in a separate pile but my Gosh, this is gorgeous. I love it. So that's gonna go right there. That's my I need to wash it or my husband needs to wash a pile. This is Torrid and Torrid tops generally don't do amazing for me. It's a size two, but it's like this vest and it's this cool kind of layered vest and it's got these silver studs. See this, this week I remembered the word for studs. It's got these silver studs all over it. So I thought that that would do pretty well. I'm gonna try that out in my Poshmark closet. Next up, we have this new with tags J. Crew top. This was in the boutique section, but I believe, maybe green was the tag of the week. I don't know, it was, it was half off. So green must have been the tag of the week because I would not have paid the full $9 for this. I think this is so cute, like it's so pretty. It's that apron front kind of, I think that's what it's called. I'm probably wrong and if I am, please let me know. And it's got just these really beautiful ruffles, but I mean, come on, just so pretty. It is a smaller size. It is a double zero petite, but small people need clothes too. I need to wear clothes. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, this is, Vince, I rarely, rarely find Vince in our thrift store, so this was really exciting. This is a Vince um, Extra Small, and it was from Bergdorf Goodman. Who knows if I'm even saying that right? But it's this really pretty pale pink tank with like layers. Everything in these bags need a good steam. Like these have literally been sitting in these bags for well over a week. Um, I want to say it's silk. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's 100% silk trim, and then there's rayon and polyester in the um, exterior, but that's just really nice. I really like that, and it's in such great condition. Like, I don't know why someone donated it, but I'm thankful that they did, because now it's going to go in my Poshmark closet. Sanctuary, size small. Sanctuary is sold at places like Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack, and um, it's just this really basic... What is this? This is, this is a nothing. It's um, this really pretty white and blue, like a really pretty light blue V-neck top. I think it's linen though, which is why I picked it up. Yeah, it's 100% linen. It just felt really good. There is a stain on the back, so I am going to put that in my this needs a wash pile. When I get my stuff that needs a wash cleaned, it's like a gold mine in there. Like there's such good stuff in my bin of stuff that needs a good wash. So I need to get on that. That's going to go on my list of things to do for this coming week.
So now we're moving on to the stuff that I got when I went with my friend. First up is just a bunch of sleepwear for myself. That's gonna go in a separate pile. That was Victoria's Secrets. This is um, Echo Tay. I'm probably butchering that. This is Urban Outfitters. And this is Intimately Free People. There's the little tag. So all of these are going in my personal closet. Next I found this shirt by Montclair. Montclair is known for their jackets and stuff and they are like thousands of dollars. It's crazy. So when I saw this, when I saw the brand, I was like, I know that brand. Why do I know that brand? And at first I thought it was like watches and stuff. I don't know, maybe they do make watches, but it's just this t-shirt with, I guess, their logo. Um, but I thought I would give that a try because I know that the brand is a good one. I got this Anthropology skirt. It is the brand, I think it's Lil, like L-I-L, and it's a size zero. I saw it from afar and I just kind of knew that it was gonna be Anthropology. It just, it's kind of that style. It has a pocket down here and it is, I wanna see what it's made out of. It is 100% cotton, which is cool. So just a nice little skirt. I don't really pick up very many skirts anymore just because I don't have the best luck with them, I feel like, but um, because it was anthropology, I was like, I'll, I'll give that one a shot. Next up is a new to me brand. It's called Latiste by Amy. And I only picked it up because it was new with tags and it was really cheap. I think, it, I think when I went with my friend, yellow was the color tag of the week. And it's this, it's all kind of tangled up right now, but it's this crop top. I don't even know if you call this a crop top, but it's this thing and it like laces up in the back and it's got this really cool pattern on the front that's embroidered on. So, I mean, it just looked very well made and comps for this brand on Poshmark looked pretty good. So I thought I'd give that a try. This was so cool. This is a Tommy Hilfiger sheer bodysuit and it's got like the Tommy Hilfiger lines. And if you look really carefully, lines, the Tommy Hilfiger stripes. And if you look carefully, it says Tommy Hilfiger right on there, but it's this bodysuit. It snaps on the bottom. I just thought this was really cool. This definitely kind of feels very streetwear to me. Um, it's a size small. There's this one student that I have who is super into streetwear. She's super into like the Supreme and the, yeah, Tommy and that kind of stuff. And I could totally see her wearing this. A lot of times when I am shopping, I just ask myself like, would my students wear this? And if so, it's probably good. My students probably would not wear this next one. <laughs> there were like three shirts in a row that obviously came from the same guy and they were all Disney shirts. So this one is Gaston and he's saying cheers to me and they're all from Disneyland and they're all size large and yeah, yellow. Yellow was the tag. That's the only reason I got these Disney shirts. So I figured I would try that on Poshmark, but I feel like that's probably even more of like an eBay thing. And since I want to try starting over on eBay, I thought I'd pick up some stuff that would do well over there. The next one from Disneyland is, I believe this print is from Sleeping Beauty and it says, sorry girls, I'm taking just a blue t-shirt, Disneyland size large. So I'm going to give that a shot and see how it goes. This is the last one. This one I love because I love Dumbo. Um, and what does it say? It says, the ladies think I'm fly. And like Dumbo is a little cracked, as you can see, but I almost feel like that adds to the appeal. And again, this is a size large from Disneyland. So those were my Disney pickups and I'm gonna try those. I'm gonna try them on Poshmark, but I'll try them on eBay too. Um, another t-shirt, sorry, my daughter keeps peeking in. Um, another t-shirt that I picked up is from School of Rock. I love this movie. I think it just speaks to me as a music teacher, but it is the School of Rock shirt with the saying, stick it to the man, because that's like what Jack Black keeps saying in the movie. And it just has the School of Rock logo on the sleeve. I thought that was really cool. And it's a size medium and it does say School of Rock down there. I probably won't get a whole lot for that, but I just thought I would try it. 
And by the way, I know I'm not sharing with you at all how much I think I'm gonna get for these items, and that's because I have not looked through these bags once since I brought them home, like I said, either a week ago or like a few days ago. Sorry, I know, I know it's also super annoying that I keep adjusting my straps here, but sorry, 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 sorry. This I love because it's the Wizard of Oz. It's like Dorothy, the Lion, the Tin Man, and the Scarecrow. Um, it was half off of $4, so I paid $2 for it. There's no tag or anything. I don't know what the brand is, but I just thought it was really cool. And I'm honestly okay with keeping it for myself too because there's no size tag. There's no, you know, there's no anything. So that might just be mine, and I'm okay with that. I love, like, the bleach on that too. And then the last t-shirt that I picked up, <laughs> this is probably my favorite. Bob Ross. Oh my gosh, look at that shirt is so cool. And the brand is literally Bob Ross. It's a size medium. You can tell that a lot of these t-shirts came from the same person. As many of you know, I am a choir teacher full time. And the last musical that we did at my high school this past spring was the show Newsies. And one of the English teachers at our school that helps out with our musicals, she does props and whatnot. We needed these big backdrops built and we needed things painted on them because in the musical, the main character, he paints backdrops for this um, burlesque theater place. And she actually painted all of the backdrops. They were backdrops of things like trees and I don't remember what else, but she drew them and she said <laughs> that it was because of Bob Ross that she knew how to paint so well. So I saw this and I immediately thought of her and I just immediately knew I needed to pick that up. That is the end of bag three. Moving on to bag four, I picked up this new with tag Lulu's dress and it is just so darling. It is this black dress that has a really high neck and it poofs out. There's probably an actual term for that. I don't know what it is. And the back is open, which I love. Um, I did pay up for it a little bit. I want to say it was half off, but who knows? So it was $15, but I think I, I think it was half off. And it's a size small, so I just thought that that was darling. It's got all this like tulle and stuff underneath to give it that bounce, which is really nice. Next up, actually, this is the last bag from when I went with my husband. So this is not what I picked up with my friend Chiwon. Um, he found this shirt. It's Ducati. I think he said that's like a motorcycle or something. Um, and so this seemed to be doing pretty well. He looked up comps for it himself. There is the logo that's on the front. This is the patch that's on. There's a few patches on the sleeve. And then they're again on the other sleeve. It's a size extra large, but no, XXL, I'm sorry. But he said that this looked like it did pretty well, so um, I was excited that he found that. He was a little disgruntled because he just didn't find as much as he thought he would or as much as he's found before when he's gone thrifting with me. Um, and if you didn't catch my vlog from last week, or no, from earlier this week, from like a couple days ago actually, he is in it and this is the stuff that we found that day when we went. So um, he did find some good stuff like he said he would in that video. He found this pair of Theory shorts. He knows that I love Theory. Um, they are a size... What size are you? Hey you. Oh, okay. They're size 31. And they are, they're this like khaki color. They kind of have like a pinkish tinge to it. So he thought maybe they were washed incorrectly. I don't know. I'm just going to disclose it and show the color the best that I can in the pictures. But he did find that. I found this new with tags nasty gal bodysuit. And it snaps at the bottom. Just black, really basic. And nope, not very basic because it has this huge gaping hole in the stomach. It's supposed to, um, but there's that. Did I say what size that was? That's a size eight and it's called, can you see my boobs in this cutout? Jeez, I hope not. I hope we can't see your boobs. That, that would be inappropriate. Next up is, <laughs> I sent my husband to the t-shirt section. Once he went through the men's section and he was like, I'm done, I don't have anything else to look at. That's when I just started on dresses. So I was like, oh no, 
do you need to keep looking? So I sent him to the t-shirt section and I was like channeling my inner empty hanger and I was like, look for concert tees, look for vintage looking stuff. That's where he found that Ducati shirt. And then he found this Garth Brooks shirt and he's like, you said concert tees. And I was like, you did good. And it's like this baseball tee, which is kind of cool. Um, I guess it's from his world tour. It does not have any dates or anything on the back, but it is a size large. So there's that, and it's got this big patch on the bottom that says Garth Brooks. Country fans love their country music, so I thought he did a good job with that. Um, next up, I found this pair of, I think they're called board shorts. I don't know what the difference between board shorts and swimming trunks are. If you could enlighten me in the comment section down below, I would really appreciate it. And while I'm talking about comments down below and all that stuff, let me just take a second to say too, if you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. And also if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you wanna make sure that you don't miss any of my content, my goal is to upload three videos a week over the summer, which is pretty ambitious. And that's why I'm filming this right now in a hurry because this will be my third video for the week. But if you don't wanna miss anything, you can also press that little bell button to make sure that you are notified every time I upload any content. Um, and the last thing that I never ever ever say in my videos, which is so dumb and I need to, if you wanna check out my Poshmark closet, it is Becky Park. So you can search Becky Park. You don't need to search Becky Park on Poshmark. You just search Becky Park and you should be able to find me there. I also have a link down below in the description section with my Poshmark closet, as well as if you don't have Poshmark and you wanna give it a try, there is a link down below for you to try it out and you get $10 after your first purchase and I get like five or something like that. So if you haven't signed up for Poshmark yet and you wanna try it out, check out that link. Anyway, we were talking about swim trunks versus board shorts. I think that these are board shorts and I don't know what the brand is. I had found it. It must be on here somewhere. Oh, oh, it's just Quicksilver. Yeah, so Quicksilver. And I only picked this up because a new party that Poshmark has been doing is the outdoor activities or outdoor party and Quicksilver, Billabong, all of those brands that I wore when I was in high school from like Pacific Sunwear are on there. So I was like, well, if it's in the party, it must be popular. So I picked these up and also people are swimming and looking for board shorts and swim trunks and all that kind of stuff. So I figured this would be a good pickup. And these are a size 31. They're a size 31. There is a little bit of like sweat stains on the white on the back. It's not super noticeable. I don't think I'm going to try to get it out. I think I'm just going to disclose it because it's not like disgusting and I'm just going to list it as is. Next up, I have another one of these like crop top type thingies. This one I saw a comp for on Poshmark for this exact one and it was like in the 20s or 30s. So I was like, okay, that looks pretty good. But it's ABS Alan Schwartz. I think it has a matching skirt that comes with it. Obviously, I don't have the skirt. It's a size extra small. Um, I just thought it was gorgeous and it's got this bow in the front and like a little peekaboo in the middle of the boobs right there. It zips up in the back. Bustier? Is that what this is called? Yeah. Maybe it's a bustier. <laughs> Reminds me of Salina. That was like one of my favorite movies growing up. So I really like that. Um, I did find this Halston piece and I picked it up just so that I would have something from the thread up Lux designer brand so that I could send in another box to thread up. I did send in a box like a week ago. So we'll see what happens with it, but I don't find a whole lot of designer pieces where I'm from. So just even though like this is kind of whatever, it's just a shell. It's just like a tank. That way I can send a thread up Lux box because I have at least one Lux item in it. And that way my box will get processed faster and anything that they don't want to sell from that box they will send back to me for free, which I'm all about. So I did pick this up. It does have like a couple little spots on it. So that's gonna go in the, this needs a wash pile. I don't even remember where the spots are, but my husband pointed them out. So that's gonna go there. Next up, we have a Lululemon tank. I always find at least like one Lululemon tank top at this thrift store. These ones don't go for very much. I want to say this is the Power Y Yoga tank or something like that. It does have the padding in the shelf bra, which is always really nice. I don't think that I will be able to find the size because the size tag has been ripped out. But I just do the measurements and then look at 
lulufanatics.com because they have a sizing guide there and I've never had an issue with Lululemon not fitting correctly because I just use that chart. So there is that. I'll probably get like in the low to mid 20s for that one. Okay, this is the pair of swim trunks or board shorts or whatever that I just looked it up and the comps looked really good. Like 30 to $40. It's called Shark Skin Board Short Technology. So clearly these are board shorts. Um, and it's like pelagic. I don't know. I feel like pelagic is the name of like the technology that they use. You know how like Cole Haan shoes have Nike Air or Nike has dry fit or whatever. So um, it's a size 36 and they are just these crazy looking board shorts. I mean, it's a fun print, but this brand seems to do pretty well. I don't know. So I'm gonna give those a try and I need to hurry up and get these listed as well as the other board shorts because this is when they're selling, obviously. Um, another swim top. This is from Victoria's Secrets and it's got this like halter tie up top. It's got this embroidery along the sides that's really pretty and the halter, they have like these little shells and these little tassels at the end. I just thought that was really cute. The padding that comes in the top is still there. It's got the little tassel and the shell right there as well. And it's a size small. Um, because it's black, I figured it'd be easy to pair with a plethora of other shorts or swim bottoms. Next up, we just have this pretty simple Diletta tank. It's a size small. I don't know if this is new or old Diletta. Diletta is anthropology, but I just thought it was really pretty. It, um, whoa, it looks crazy right now. I don't, I don't know how this is supposed to look, but you, you get the idea. I, oh, I think it's like this. I, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here we go, people. This also has tassels. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out after I finish this haul, but just kind of your typical tank. Cute. We're almost at the end of this third bag. You guys are doing awesome. Hang in there. <laughs> Um, hopefully you're doing something productive like listing or photographing or steaming or something like that and I'm just entertaining you in the background. This is a pair of O'Neal swim bottoms and again O'Neal is on that list of outdoor activities or whatever for that Poshmark party but it's this really cute pair of high-waisted swim bottoms and it's got this thing again, I don't remember what it's called. You saw it on another item that I just showed you. What is this? Smocked. I think it's called Smocked. Yeah, and it's stretchy right there. But these I can see being just ultra flattering and they are a size large. Um, I wish that the top was there too, but they weren't and that's fine. So there's that, super cute. I also found, actually my husband found this pair of French Connection size 30 shorts. I don't know what you would call this print, just like super tiny squares. So it's not, I don't know that it's gingham, I don't think it is. But it's got like these unique little things on the side, almost kind of like little kid clothes on the inside they have these like tabs that you can pull and you can make them tighter if you need to and with like little buttons they're adjustable I know that because my son is teeny tiny for his age and so we're whenever we have pants like that I'm always having to like tug them in and um, just make them as tight as possible otherwise they just fall off of him as he's running around next up my husband found this pair of penguin shorts he really likes penguin penguin it does okay. This is a size 30 and they just have this cool like palm tree print on them. So there's that. The last thing in this bag and the last thing from the haul with my husband, he found it is a pair of men's seven, seven for all mankind standard jeans. And they are just kind of like your basic relaxed fit or straight leg jeans um i haven't no i have i've sold seven for all mankind for men before size 33 so i will hope to get like in the mid 20s for that one so good finds by him he just was like sad that he didn't find 
you know, like a card full of stuff, but that doesn't happen every time. You know, sometimes you only find a few pieces and that's okay. All right, and then the last bag, this is stuff that I got when I went with my friend Chi Won for her first time thrifting to resell. And oh my gosh, I was so proud of her because she found rag and bone jeans and Mark by Mark Jacobs jeans. But I found the best jeans because I found St. Laurent. Like what? Why, why are these in champagne? Who's wearing this kind of stuff? I don't know. Um, just a pair of black jeans with the busted knees and there's nothing wrong with them. Nothing whatsoever. They were $6. Amazing. So I'm really excited. I don't know yet if I'm going to sell this on Poshmark or if I'm going to send it in to thread up. I might just list it over on Poshmark until I have enough stuff ready to send into thread up Lux, and if it hasn't sold, you know, by the time I have a box ready, I might just send it in. I'm also going to obviously look at like the payout calculator and see how much I could even get for it. But these are a size, it's like the European size, um, if I remember correctly, but I don't know. I don't know what size they are, but amazing. I was so excited to find those. Next up, I just have this pair of short alls. I think these are just Target, but I got them because short alls will sell and it doesn't really matter the brand i mean i'm not going to get like a huge amount for them but um they were cheap enough that it was worth it yeah they're just massimo size large and i think that this day yellow was the color tag so they were half off so i think i only paid three dollars for that i would not have paid six dollars for target short alls next up was this pair of holding horses jeans um they do have like a sharpie line through them so maybe these were at TJ Maxx or something like that and I did get them though because they are a larger size they're sorry they're a size 31 doo, 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 doo. I'm just checking to make sure that the RN is 66170 which means that it is anthropology oh no it is RN 66170 it says it right there the fit is the slim boyfriend but you can see RN do you see that there it is um, so they are cuffed at the bottom and they appear to be cropped, but, um, I did pick those up. I was really excited to find those. I've never found holding horse. Uh, no, that's a lie. I found a pair of holding horses boots before and those did really well for me, but that's my first time finding a pair of holding horses clothing. Next up, I just got this Zara W and B top because it was half off and it was just like really interesting. It's this gold color with this faint like rectangular grid pattern to it. High low, just really classy. And it was half off, so it was only $2. Um, so I thought I would try that out. Zara can do really well for me. Next up is this soft surroundings top. I love picking up soft surroundings. It sells pretty consistently for me and pretty quickly and I get a decent amount for the uh, for the pieces. So it's just this gray top and it's kind of, you know, it's like this tunic, but it has this cool feature at the neckline and that is a size large. Soft surroundings is expensive in stores, so yeah. Next up, we're almost done people. I have a couple pair of jeans. This is, I believe, a men's pair of jeans. It's American Eagle. You know I like my American Eagle denim. It's a slim straight. There's the American Eagle. It is a size 29 by 32, which is for a thinner guy, but thin guys need jeans too. And it's, you know, pretty distressed, which I liked. So there's that. Um, and they were half off. They were only $3, which is why I got them. I would not pay the full $6 price for jeans for American Eagle because they'll sell, but they're not going to sell for that much. You'll probably, if you're lucky, get something in the 20s. But, um, and for men's, I could probably get, you know, low to mid 20s for those. For women's uh, American Eagle, I usually get like in the 18, 19, 20 to like 25 range. Every once in a while, I'll get like a random full price sale at like $28 or something like that, but that's pretty rare. But American Eagle Denim does have a following, so if you can get it for cheap enough, I definitely recommend it. Next up is this Citizens for, no, Citizens of Humanity jeans. There is one tag. They're a size 28, 
and sometimes um okay there's another tag on the inside they have like three different tags you can look at there's the tag on the back they are really expensive retail resale wise i mean you're looking at maybe 20 to 30 dollars worth but they are just kind of this boot cut jean um, they're in really good shape, which is why I got them. And I also got them because they were yellow tags. So I only got them for $30. <laughs> I only got them for $3. Oh my gosh. I would not pay $30 for these. And sometimes my Goodwill will take these and put them in the boutique section, in which case I would never get them. Um, by the way, the, the second time that I went to Goodwill with my friend, I spent $67. I don't know where the receipt is for when I went with my husband, but it was originally like 200 something. But the day that we went, it was 20% off of everything that wasn't 50% off due to the color tag because they do that like on the last Friday of every month or something like that. So it came down to like 180 something dollars, like 181 dollars I want to say. Um, this was another yellow tag. This was Torrid size 20 and these are the skinny jeans. I have never picked up Torrid jeans before, but I heard that they do really well, which is why I picked them up. They are a skinny jean. And again, I only paid three bucks for them. So I'm excited to see how these do because people say that Torrid denim does really well. Lord of mercy. That is it. <laughs> that was a long haul. Now I need to go eat lunch. I need to clean my house. I need to find more items to sell at our garage sale and I need to list. I need to take pictures of things and list, so I'm really excited. And you might be wondering if you've been following my reselling journey, especially for what's going on in my summer, you might be asking, why are you taking pictures of stuff when you have someone that you hire to do that for you? I have so much stuff that honestly, like I need to tag team with her. And right now I started off by giving her stuff that I don't really care that much about. It's a lot of stuff that people have given me for free. So it's brands like Old Navy, Forever 21, Target, stuff that like, if she doesn't do the greatest job and the pictures aren't the greatest, it's it's okay, because she's still learning. So even like her pictures from the very first time that she took pictures to her second time around after receiving a lot of feedback from me, oh my gosh, night and day. So I'm really excited because I know that eventually she's gonna put out some like amazing quality pictures. But you know, like everyone has to go through that training process of what it means to put up good quality pictures. So. I am going to still be taking some pictures myself as well, but I'm really excited to have help and already she's been so helpful. And already some of the stuff that she's taking pictures of have sold, so that's really exciting. Okay, so that's it. I will hopefully see you next time. What you can hope to see next week is a what sold video, but like I said, I am gonna have to be really strategic about how I film that one because from my sale alone, I sold like 40 items. <laughs> and typically my what sold videos have like 20, like 15 to 20, seven items in them so i feel like going through the list of every single thing that sold this week is just going to be too long i don't know we'll see what i do i also want to do maybe another vlog or i might do a video on what i did to have a successful poshmark sale if you're interested in that let me know and then i do want to do a video on a garage sale and just what goes into putting on a garage sale how much I make from the garage sale. Maybe that won't be for next week though because that'll happen on Saturday. So next week, I think I'll do the, what is it? What sold, how to have a sale, and like a vlog of some sort. Probably from what I did today, which was garage sailing with my daughter. So yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I hope you are getting wonderful stuff yourselves. I hope you are having wonderful sales. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I'm so greasy and sweaty, cause I am, I'm like sticky all over. It's really disgusting. That's okay, you don't have to look at me anymore. Bye.